Hi there everyone, welcome back. My name is Chris. Uh, a couple of weeks ago now I put up um, a couple of videos showcasing the complete uh, from component parts uh, build on KWA LM4 post uh, getting some Cerakote work uh, done and some hydro dip on some of the parts. So I wanted to show the uh, finished article today, just see what show it's like when the whole thing's put together. Go through all the parts from the starting at the arse end working forward. Um, so we started with the Magnum Industries CTR stock. Uh, I'll probably go with a different stock if I build this now, but I started doing this, started buying the parts like, uh, I mean, uh, pushing towards two years ago now, so there wasn't much else out there that was better at the time, so that's what I went with. Um, but a 0.7 inch uh, butt pad extension on there, BCM gunfire little sticker just for tactical points, and then obviously it's hydro dipped in the uh, multi cam pattern. Also had the buffer tube Cerakoted in FTE, as will the other uh, main metal parts of the gun. And the CTR locks on there really nicely. Standard castle nut, we've got the PTS version of the Magpul ASAP plate for your one point sling hook. Um, obviously this is no longer in production, uh, unfortunately. But this is the uh, GBBR version that's compatible with the uh, WA, WE, KWA. Obviously, really nice for uh, being able to switch shoulders with a one point sling. Pistol grip again, uh, hydro dip multi cam. This is the BCM gunfighter grip, and I've fitted the extra little tang here, which covers up the gap where your, your middle finger can pinch underneath the, the standard trigger guard, which is just a basically means I don't have to worry about replacing the trigger guard by fitting that. And it comes with the grip, it's not something you have to buy extra. Selectors are again a PTS um, part that's no longer in production. You've got a shorter one on the right hand side of the gun and then a standard length lever on the left side. Clicks into place really nicely on all the all different positions. Triggers the standard trigger. As you can see you've got the Cerakote down on the upper and the lower and then on the lower have this uh, little explosive hazard engraving done with a little serial number there. Standard bolt catch as well. I would have liked to fit a, a bad lever, um, but basically to do that you have to do massive amounts of Dremel work on the bolt catch and the bad lever itself and it's very tricky because there's, there's no clearance um, in here between the upper and the bolt catch where there would be on a, on a real AR. So you're kind of stuck with that. Um, got our M bus front and rear flip up sights inside on the internal side of things the bolt carrier and the nozzle the same I just put in the uh, danger works power down um, flute valve inside the nozzle to lower the FPS some other than that internals are stock all the the, the trigger the main sear the hammer etc all, they're all really good quality parts straight from KWA so I haven't done anything to those Optic on here at the moment is a primary arms T1 clone. This one's on uh, a mount which is OEM'd by Seekins Precision and primary arms put their, uh, put their logo on it. Had the trigger guard and forward assist Cerakoted when I uh, sent it out to get the work done. Same with the barrel, I also had the barrel um, from the pretty much from the gas block forward, I had that machine down on the lathe so it takes some weight off the very front end of the gun. Then got the Midwest Industries uh, Gen 2 SS series free floating tubular handguard. Uh, on top of here the Magpul rail sling attachment point uh, for when you want to go from a one point sling to a two point mode using uh, uh, something like an MS2 or 3. Then the Surefire M300 light. Um, with the SR07 dual, uh, dual use tail switch, uh, you press on the, the larger tab here for a momentary, and you can press that button for a constant on. Works quite well because you can access it from both sides. So if you're shooting from the left shoulder, it works as well. Mounted on the Hay Strategic uh, Fawn Tail mount, drop point mount, sorry, <laughs> correction there. Um, just got a little 
zip tie holding on the, the tail switch and then we've got the war sport uh, rail bungees just helping secure that, that tail switch cable in place and then on the other side as well just give a bit more grip because the hydro dip on the handguard is extremely smooth and slippery even when it's dry let alone when it's wet um, on the end PTS uh, replica of the battle comp 1.5 pretty nice looking muzzle device doesn't do anything for airsoft obviously uh, but it does look cool I think uh, and then underneath the handguard Quite a bit difficult to see. We've got a low profile gas block just so it can fit under the, the very thin tube. So GMP, um, uh, legality wise, you, um, a gas block would be regarded as a pressure bearing part, so that's not uh, an area where you'd want to fit uh, a real firearm part uh, in the UK anyway. And uh, yes, yeah, everything on the on the gun guys. It's taken quite a long time to put this project together, but I'm pretty happy with the how it came out in the end, quite a nice looking weapon I have to say, probably will make some more changes, might see about fitting a bad lever, I'm not sure whether I'll keep the light and the backup sights just to shave on some weight but we'll see how it goes. Uh, so uh, yeah, cheers for watching guys, um, thanks to all the subscribers and all the thumbs up and shares and all that good stuff, uh, got to keep up on the uploads on the channel, um, got a Facebook page where I put all the new videos, pretty much daily updates on there, all sorts of gear and gun stuff. Uh, Twitter as well and uh, yeah cheers for watching guys see you next time